Setting off from the beach at Towin, you'll find that nearly three quarters of today's walk will actually be along the coastal path. There will be a lot of grass and hidden coves. Those hills in the distance are where you leave the coastal path. A few miles in, you come to Trife Pentlach. Now this is a beach that's huge at lower water, well over a mile long. It's mostly deserted apart from the remnants of somebody's artwork. You find that you actually have to go on the beach as the path disappears. Just check the tide is not coming in though. Around the corner is Porf Coleman. This is a lovely little cove and a nice place for a little break. It did have an industrial past, but these days it gives access to the cliffs and a vast amount of bird life in the area. The paths themselves are very well maintained and there's bridges and access across all the rough areas. There are two options that take you back to the road, but they only bring you back to the beach again and the path on this section is really good. There's a lot of coves and interest all the way to the beach of the Whistling Sands. Just walk across it and you will understand. There's a beach cafe to stop for a coffee and then it's on to the road. This final section is cutting across the roads and trails towards the village of Abadaran. Arriving in the village you'll want to visit St Hoan's Church to sign that you've done the Pilgrim's Way. A 12th century church but a site that dates back to the 5th century and the sea crossing to Bardsey Island.